Hey, what is up guys? Skullified here, and we are back with Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode E11. Um, last episode, we had a big little finale. The main part of the episode was a little just learning more about um, Kenny's backstory and seeing a super scrawny Levi. I was... I was not expecting that to Levi to be that skinny with how like strong he is now, but I guess like obviously that doesn't really matter. He Kenny built him up a little bit, and then he went on his own, as we saw in the OVAs, which are also on the channel if you haven't watched them yet. Um, but uh, yeah, also the episode ended. Um, we got to see not Ymir. I don't think we saw Ymir, but we got to see um, Berthold and Reiner or Rainer. Um, who are f seemingly fighting the Monkey Titan in some sort of bet type thing, um, which was interesting. I, I guess, the, I don't know what they would have been fighting over, but the Beast Titan, the blonde dude, who I'm assuming is now in control of the Beast Titan, or who is the one like in the Beast Titan, um, said he won, so I'm assuming they were fighting over something. For what, I have no idea. I don't know if we're going to touch on that again, or if we're going to go into something else. But, uh, yeah, um, hit that subscribe button, and also, the first video I'm doing it for, um, I have a Patreon, if you guys want the full uncuts to all these episodes, links in the description as well, and, uh, yeah, let's hop right into the video. Oh, so, okay. Oh, it's been two months? Okay, so we got our time skip. Yeah, with Historia and, like, Levi, right, like, as, like, her side person, it's probably going to be really good for everyone. Ooh, asking the big questions. Well, his motive is clear. That's, that's, that's good. I'm surprised nothing's happened in the past two months. Seeing all the other stuff happened within like a week or two. Wait, I was just thinking. Ymir told her or thought that there wouldn't be a life for her in the walls, yet now she's a goddamn queen. And Mikasa looks terrible. Okay, maybe she's okay. She just looked really, like, sick in that shot. So is there no more military police? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wait, they plugged up the wall? No way they're gonna decapitate it. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so that... Oh, fuck. Oh god, Eren's overusing himself way too much. But, okay, so they haven't made it all the way. I thought they were just gonna time skip past there, but thank god. But I am surprised they haven't gotten attacked in these two months. <laughs> oh, they're fucking terrified. It's amazing. Nothing, okay, I think Connie's good, but if Connie's parents were Titans, that is kind of, yeah, it's kind of probably not so good. <laughs> Mikasa is literally his fucking mom, I love it. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. I, that guy looks familiar. Smack your head, yes, Sasha. Oh my god, wait, is it him? Wait. Keith Sadies. Okay, that explains why he looked a little bit familiar. So the one who was trying to kill him in season one then, right? What does he know and why wouldn't he have... Why wouldn't he have told them while they were all training here? Okay, but in the grand scheme of things, you still know something. Okay, so this episode's gonna be his past, right? Because the episode's called Bystander. He couldn't remember why he was outside the walls. Oh. Oh, that's Hans? Oh shit, that's a young Hans. That kind of looked like Mikasa, to be honest. Damn, so he was really talented as a doctor. Wait, what? Oh, he got married. Oh, he got married to the girl that he liked? Oh, okay. Oh, there's baby Erin. Aw. I'm trying to eat her hair. Oh, I should have caught that Carla was his mom. Damn. Holy shit, okay. He... He laid the pipe bomb on her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, his eyes have the, um, look like they have the founding titan thing in them. Which obviously he has to have if Eren... Thunder? Oh god, he's actually fall. Oh, is he the one that brings Eren back, maybe? Probably, right?
Well, that's all. I like that we got a little bit more information there. That was nice. Filled in some gaps. But didn't give us everything. Damn. Really? I feel like he... <sighs> okay, I guess that works. I think that's still better than nothing, right? Oh, wow, okay. Damn, so she laid a pipe bomb right back to him. Damn. Oh, no, reverse that shit. That's probably nice if... I'm assuming he told them that entire thing. So, that's probably nice that he finally got to hear that. He was the one who broke his maneuver gear? It... Oh my god! He broke the maneuver gear? And realized he couldn't stop it regardless. That's actually insane. Oh my god, that's such a throwback. That was like episode 2 or 3. Wow, okay. That's really cool. I actually really like that they did that. Sadie's is the... Oh my god, that's... I like... Th I love their constant throwbacks to things and like... Oh, this little detail that was in the story earlier, we're gonna actually sh explain to you now what that, like, butterfly flying across the screen, actually why that happened. Damn. That's really cool. Broke Aaron's maneuver gear. Just writing that down so I don't forget. In F3. Damn. I really love that this show just has those constant throwbacks. Um. So, again. Um. Not really any like big fights or anything, cause I know a lot, I saw I've seen I have seen a few comments saying that a lot of pe some people have skipped season three, but the, um, and cause it's like it's not their favorite season. But I've also gotten some exact opposite comments saying that season three are people's favorite seasons, which I'm probably definitely leaning towards the people who think it's their favorite season because season one and two were great. Season one had season one was probably the weakest season to me technically, just because um. Uh, it was the first, like, the first set of episodes watching, and, like, I was trying to get into it a little bit. It was a little bit harder, because I didn't know I was more newish to anime. Now I've watched a bunch of episodes of this. I finished Jujutsu Kaisen, and I've started Demon Slayer and all that. So I've gotten more into, like, the whole style of the show. But, and then, like, obviously season one ended, like, the last, like, from eight, episode 18 to, like, 25 was ama absolutely insane. And then season two was just fucking a dead sprint, the entire thing. That was super good. And then this season's kind of, at least so far, has calmed it down, but still give us, given us so much more information, which I've been asking for for the past 40 or however many episodes we're on. I think, actually, we went, I, I don't know exactly how many episodes we're on. Season 3, episode 11, there's 25 plus 11, that's 40, or that's 30, 40, yeah, 40 something plus the OVAs. Um, so, like, there's just. All the information I had been asking for were slowly starting to get this season, and that's really rewarding for me, I guess. Like, seeing amazing fights and stuff is cool, but seeing, getting to know the information that I'd been wanting for the past few seasons is really rewarding, and it feels really good. Um, especially, like, those little, little tiny details, like who actually broke his maneuver gear and stuff like that. That was nice. Um, we did get the two-month time skip as well this episode, so I don't know if that was the time skip that everyone was talking about happening or if there's I, I didn't know how long the time skip would be but two months like, is significantly a lot amount, or a good amount of time compared to the two one to two weeks that the rest of the two seasons took place during besides obviously like the first two episodes but no yeah that was really cool um I, I don't really have much else that was just really good we got to learn some information more information obviously um 
Aaron's dad having memory loss is weird. That asks more questions on where did Aaron's dad come from? Like, why did he lose his memory? Probably from eating a Titan, right? Although, no. Because... Aaron only lost the memory of him eating the tight eating his dad. He still knew the stuff that happened before and the stuff that happened after. Ymir, I think, knew what happened before because we got the flashback of Ymir. She just and she remembered being stuck in the Titan for sixty five years. So I don't know why. Um, Aaron's dad would have lost his memory. Yeah, it seemed like a little bit of it came back because he knew he's a doctor and he knew his name. But I don't know if there's anything else besides that. If maybe the Founding Titan thing just takes a while to give you back your memory. I'm not too, too sure. Maybe he came from the civilization which the Monkey Titan is from. Or whatever group there are where like Rainer Berthold and Ymir and Annie were all from. But uh, yeah, no, I'm super excited. I'm hoping they they start touching a little bit more again on the that group because I want to know why they're there. But I also do want to know more information on his dad and where his dad was from before there. But yeah, no, great great story so far. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.